Good morning. So this time, another problem on math mathematical way of solving the resultant vector R. So suppose we have here uh, the problem, find the resultant of two forces, 4 newtons and 3 newtons, acting on point O at an angle of 60 degrees with each other. Use parallelogram method. So, meaning to say that in this problem, the 4 Newton force and the 3 Newton force are forming 60 degrees. Okay, so therefore, we let 4 Newtons to be going to, okay, going to east. And we have here the 4 Newtons. 60 degrees is somewhere here. Okay, so this is three, three newtons. Okay, and this is 60 degrees. So the two forces, four newtons and three newtons, are forming 60 degrees with each other. Okay, so this time using parallelogram method, we're going to extend, okay, we're going to extend lines in order for us to make a parallelogram out of this given. So we're going to draw a line parallel to force of 4 newtons. So this is also equal to 4 newtons. Then another line parallel to 3 newtons. This is also equal to 3 newtons. So this time we're going to make a diagonal line in order for us to determine the resultant vector R. So the diagonal line indicates the resultant vector. So this is now the diagonal line from the origin to this vertex. So this is our R. Okay. So if we're going to consider the half of this parallelogram, this is an oblique triangle, okay? So for problems involving oblique triangle, when we say oblique triangle, those uh, triangles which are not, okay, again, oblique triangles, those triangles which are not right, okay? So since this is not a right triangle, so therefore, Pythagorean theorem is not applicable for this. But we have, I have already written the... Uh, mathematical laws that you're going to apply. You have the cosine law and the sine law, okay? So we have the C squared or the longest side, the length of the longest side, the C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine gamma. Then for side A, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC, okay? Cosine alpha. Then for side B, we have b squared is equal to a squared plus b plus c squared minus 2ac cosine beta, okay? So this equation is also derived from Pythagorean theorem, okay? Next, the sine law. We have a over sine alpha is equal to b over sine beta and that is also equal to c over sine gamma. So in this case, since we have two equal signs, meaning to say that you can pair any of this expression. It can be A and C, or C and B, or B and A, okay? So let us now proceed to our equation. So the angle here, the sum of this angle is 60. This is 60. So therefore, the sum of these two vertices here is equal to 60. Again, if this is 60... And this is 60. So the sum of the two vertices here is equal to 60. So what is the measure of this? Okay. So the total angle of these three vertices here is equal to 180. The sum of three vertices, 180. But as I have said, this is already equal to 60. This two, the sum of this is 60. So therefore, 180 minus 60 is 
120. So therefore, this vertex here is equal to 120 degrees. Okay? So, this is angle alpha. Okay, this is this alpha and this is beta. Angle beta. Okay. So, using cosine law to solve for the resultant vector R. Okay. So, we have, we have here, let us change C into R. So, R squared R squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 AB cosine gamma. So, this is 4 newtons squared plus 3 newton squared minus 2 times 4 newtons times 3 newtons cosine 120 degrees. Okay, next, this is 4n times 4n is 16n squared plus 3n times 3n is 9n squared minus, so 2 times 4 is 8 times 3, 24 n squared. Cosine 120 is negative 0.5. Okay, so again, the value of cosine 120 is negative 0.5. Okay, next we have 16 times, uh, I mean 16 newton squared plus 9 newton squared is 25. Newton squared minus is it negative times negative is positive okay so 24 n squared multiplied by 0. 0.5 is 12 so this is positive 12 n squared so therefore we have 25 n squared plus 12 n squared is 37 n squared. So this time, extract the square root. Okay, so r is now equal to square root of 37 is 6.08. 6.08 n squared is a perfect square. So this is now our magnitude. How about this direction, the alpha here? Okay, so again using sine law. You can use sine law this time. Okay, since C is already known, meron tayong C. We have we have this one. Okay, opposite side, three n. So we can apply. Um, sine law a over sine alpha is equal to c over sine gamma okay next opposite side of angle alpha is 3 newtons divided by sine alpha is equal to C, that is 6.08 newtons, divided by sine gamma, which is 120 degrees. Okay. Next, we're going to cross multiply. Okay. So, 6 point. Six point zero eight times sine alpha is equal to three newtons times sine 
120 degrees. Okay. Next, divide both sides by 6.08. 6.08 okay so cancel we have here cancel so sine alpha is now equal to 3 newtons sine 120 is 0.87 or 0.866 so let us use the round value 0.87 divided by 6.08 Okay, so 3 newtons times 0.87 divided by 6.08 is 0.43 Again, 3 newtons times or multiplied by 0.87 divided by 6.08 is 0.43. But we're not going to stop here since we're going to solve for alpha. Okay? Find the value of alpha. So therefore, divide both sides by sine. Sine function. So alpha is now equal to, this can be written as, um, this can also be written as 1 over sine multiplied by 0.43 or sine raised to negative 1 of 0.43. Okay? So therefore, alpha is equal to 25.47 degrees. Okay? Okay, again, 1 over sine from the law of exponents. This can also be expressed in terms of sine raised to negative 1. Okay, so this is now the final answer. So we have the resultant as 6.08 newtons, 25.47 degrees north of east. Or... Okay, 6.08 newtons, 7, this is 3, 5, okay, let us check, 90 minus 10, 110, 4, okay, 10 ulit, carry 1, so this is 3, so 64. 64.53 degrees north east of north. Okay, let us check if it is 90. 7 plus 3 is 10, carry 1. So 4 plus 1, 5 plus 5, 10, carry 1. 5, 1 plus 5, 6 plus 4, 10, carry 1. Okay, so 64.53.